Hello, I'm David Council, Service Engineer for Caterpillar and the Backo Loader Product Group. Today we're going to talk about the maintenance practices for your 416F, 420F, and 430F Backo Loader. These maintenance practices will help you get the maximum performance out of your F-Series Backo Loader. Let's take a look at the design of the extendable stick on the F-Series Backo Loader. For up and down movement, it is controlled by a two sets of wedges and pads. A wedge and reaction pad is located at the bottom and here at the top. This controls up and down movement. For side to side movement, two discs are located on either side of the machine. This controls side to side movement. The adjustment is easily done with hand tools and can be done by the operator. Let's take a look at how we adjust the side to side movement on our extendable stick. Remember, these pucks do not require any grease. Remove the top two bolts holding on the cover. You only need to loosen the bottom two bolts. You don't have to fully remove them. Remove the proper thickness of shim to maintain the correct gap on the e-stick. Shims can be stored on the outside of the puck to retain for future use. Replace and tighten the four bolts. Don't forget to adjust all four pads on the, for side to side movement on your extendable stick. The up and down movement on your extendable stick can be adjusted by two wedges using simple hand tools. Remember, these wedges do not require any type of grease. To adjust the wedges, Loosen the two bolts, retaining the wedge. Tighten the Allen screw, positioning the wedge so that the gap is correct between the pad and the inner stick. Once that gap is achieved, retighten the wedge retaining bolts. The second wedge is located behind this plate at the end of the extendable stick. I hope you found this information to be very helpful. Always remember to consult your operation and maintenance manual for your F-Series backhoe loader.